Greetings YouTube, Skill Incarnate bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome to another look at an early access game. And this time we're having a look at the game Postworld by Screwdriver Entertainment. Now Postworld is a very early access game. It's actually not even on the Steam store yet. And the developers were kind enough to give me a copy to take a look and let them know what my thoughts are. Now this game is a post-apocalyptic survival slash RPG and it reminds me a little bit of Fallout and a little bit of Stalker. And because I like those two games, I was really keen to give this one a try. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to let you know what my thoughts are on the game at the moment and what I'd like to see in future development. But I'm going to try and go easy on this one. It, as I said, it, it's, it's early access. Very, very, very early version of the game but it could be a promising one guys and here we are in the game now graphically I have to say this game isn't the best looking at the moment very rough but I as I always say I will take the roughest looking game over a over a asset flip or uh, a cop out ripping off some other people's assets any day of the week. So yeah, this game very rough at the moment, but there uh, another game that that I really love, a little game you guys know called Seven Days to Die, actually started out a lot rougher than this, and it's one of my favourite games of all time. So yeah, it's definitely needs a little bit of work, but I like what they've done so far. Looks like a uh, our friend Buddy here. You found a partner. Teammates can help you survive in a difficult situation. Okay. Rubbing for life. Okay, I feel like I'm going to get a YouTube strike just for just for it mentioning that. So let's uh let's swiftly move on from that. Um, maybe rename your character. That's a little bit too much innuendo for <laughs> for a video game. Oh, and this is another problem with the game. Some of the characters all have the their names are still in Russian, so the translation feels incomplete. Uh, hunting bandits. Okay, so we've got a quest. We need to hunt down some bandits. Um, we're going to get our friend rubbing for life, and we're going to go and rub out some bandits. And we've got another, as you can see, some of the translation needs a lot more work. Uh, weapons do not look reliable. Yes, that is true. Where can we find special repair kits? A uh, huge settlement dump to the north. Abandoned house in the northwest. Garage where my mate settled down. Or slavers' cages. I reckon the huge settlement to the north sounds like a really good idea. I'm gonna, oh, there's some ammo. So what we'll do is I'm going to sell all this stuff that we half-inched, make a little bit of room in our inventory. Got $20 there, that's not too bad. Um, I don't think I'll need a knife. That got me a lot of, lot of uh, nice supplies there. There's a repair kit. Now, I'm just wondering what sort of condition our weapon's going to be in. So, uh, as you can see, we've got our, our pistol. Let's see. Again, the translation is broken for that. So let's uh, let's repair that pistol. Well, let's see how much how much durability is it. Twenty. Okay. Yeah, we we're going to repair it. Okay. It's got a hundred bullets. We're we're not hurting for ammo. We're going to try and head to the the big location to the north. With our friend, um... Help, what, I'm going to have to name him something different. We're going to call you Rob. I'm not calling you Rubbing. Oh, wow, that, that running animation too is one of the worst animations I've ever seen. So, um, developer, please fix this. He looks like the Flash when he's running. Or, if you've ever seen Six Million Dollar Man, it's, uh... It's, uh, yeah, pretty janky, to say the least. 
So here's where you'll see the influence uh, of, of the Fallout games, so the, the first Fallout and the second Fallout. You've got the world map here. Unfortunately, you can't scroll around. I really wish you could. You just have to move in a direction and hope you're, you're going the right way. So he did say the trade location in the north. So we're going to try and keep moving north. Oh, that looks... Here we go. Huge settlement. So we're going to head that way to the farm. And we'll press E. So inspect the chest. Open the chest. Oh, first aid kits. Ah, here we go. We'll head towards the settlement. And here we are. So we're, we're going to... It looks like we've, we've sold a quest, and we're and now at the large settlement, ready to have a look for some of these repair kits for our vendor. And here we are in one of the largest settlements, at least in this build of the game. And I don't know if these guys up ahead are actually hostile or not, so let's go and have a look. It looks like this is a friendly settlement at least. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, I don't know what that means, of course. Uh, we need to... Oh, there we go. So, he, he's a trader of some sort. Okay, and it looks like he's got a few things that I might be interested in. This uh, this backpack uh, looks like it could be quite good. Some armour. But uh, we, we really don't have a lot at the moment. So we're going to... We're going to have a look around and see if we can find uh, what we need to finish the quest that we got from the trader in the in the first settlement. Just uh, put this gun away, see if we can have a chat with these guys. No, okay, so it looks like this area, at least for now, is blocked off, whether that's by quests or whether it just hasn't been implemented yet. Go and have a look over here. This looks like it could possibly be uh, one of the more hostile areas. I don't think people... Wow, so that they really need to normalise those gunshots. That nearly ruptured my eardrums. So, I don't know. There's a guy down here, I think. Yep. Oh, it, he is not... He is not friendly. i try and see if I can take him out. Oh, wow, he just cut me in half. Okay, so... I think that was a little bit, a uh, little careless on my part. Let's uh, let's try that again. This time we know this guy is hostile. So, much like the Fallout games and a lot of other open world games, post-apocalyptic games, you're pretty squishy at the start. Wasn't my greatest moment. So we're going to try that again. And this time I'm going to get the drop on him. I know he's hostile. I might be able to get a headshot in. I don't know how, what the range of this pistol is, but let's give it a go. Nope. It looks like he might be out of range for me. Oh, no. Sorry, mate. I'm not playing fair. Because uh, whatever he had, he had a, a submachine gun or an automatic rifle of some sort. He, uh, he did quite a lot of damage. So this guy, he looks, he looks like he's probably hostile. But it could just be that the gunshot spooked him. So let's uh, let's go and recover this guy's weapon. What do we got here? Hey, okay, so it's an assault rifle. Not bad. I'll take that. I'll take the hat as well. All right, so I might hang on to the assault rifle. Uh, how much ammo has it got? Ow, damn. You got me. Take that. I got him. So yeah, the headshot seems to be the way to go. Now my friend took a little bit of damage, but... Oh, hello. He wants to... You want to dance, do you? Gotta be careful with my aim there. Oh, wow. He took a whole magazine. There we go. Level up. I, well, I wasn't hitting him in the head, but... Oh, he actually killed my friend. Oh, that's not good. But I'll take the armor. Yeah, unfortunately, it was just a... Uh, they, a lot of the guys are bullet sponges in this game. Okay, uh, I might take that armor, though. The head armor. I could definitely help. I'm sorry, my, my friend Rod. 
It looks like you got rubbed the wrong way. That was a really horrible pun, but anyway. Alright, so I imagine there's going to be... Oh, hello, what was that? That looks like it might be some sort of poison... Yeah, okay, it's toxic barrels or something. Yeah, it is, toxic barrels. Let's stay away from those. I see a head over the horizon. See if we can sneak up on these guys. Now I've lost my, uh, my good buddy. So yeah, this game seems to have a very, very high difficulty spike. You you do get thrown into it rather early, but uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I haven't played the game enough to make a judgment on, on whether difficulty is too high. It seems a little bit high. Oh, well, okay. Time to run away. I should have shot, but again... You never seem to know when people are friendly or not. Okay, he's after me. Time to run. I got a few solid hits in on him, but he can obviously... Oh, a whole magazine in the chest. That did the job. That's a headshot. Now, they are all solid, solid hits to the head, and he's... Alright, time to break out the assault rifle. Oh, item not set. Okay, I'm in some trouble now. It seems he's not uh, intelligent enough to pull out a, a rifle when he runs out of ammo. Oh, wow, so during a fight, I cannot open my inventory. Okay, here we go. Oh man, what was this guy made of? So enemies can take way too much damage. You can see I took... I hit him with a nearly entire magazine. Okay, he had a shotgun. But but still, it, it seems that... Um, I'll try and see if I can eat that. Maybe it can... Give me a little bit of, uh, bit of my health back. I've, I've got a med kit as well. So what I might do is I'll chuck the shotgun back. Now, I'll chuck my clothes away. Uh, unusable item category. So I've got to start. Um, I've got to start selling some of this stuff because I need some some money. Oh, here we go. Nine millimeter ammo. So he had. He was carrying. He was carrying quite a bit of ammo. Oh, that was my own ammo because I took my suit off. So yeah, I actually, I actually burned through. A lot of ammo. Items, items can break. Okay, so it looks like my pistols... My pistol broke. Now, that's a bit weird because whenever you get a level up, you get this intrusive screen which just jumps up in your face, which uh, I'd really like them to fix. The The difficulty of this game seems a little bit too high. Uh, enemies seem to be bullet sponges. They can take a lot of punishment, as you saw. That guy, I, I hit him at least 10 times in the head. Um... Understandably, I was using a 9mm pistol, but that many shots in the head? Come on. He's uh, he's not getting up from that many shots. So let's just chuck this in the backpack for now. Okay. Looks like my, my gun is broken, so what we'll do is unload it. And we'll chuck that away. So, okay. Looks like I made a little bit of money. So, guns break very easy. Uh, obviously, I was leaning on that pistol very hard, but when, when enemies can take that... I, I will, I'll have to look at the, the footage later, but I, I, would, I think it would be no exaggeration to say I shot that guy at least 10 times in the head. And, oh, okay, I fell into some... I fell into some rather nasty radiation there. So, I'm on death's door now. Just going to try and see if... Uh, take that. Take that. So what I'm trying to do now is just to sell all this stuff to to make enough money to to buy a, a decent backpack. I've got a shotgun there. Can never take that. So go and sell some of this stuff. Sell the baseball bat and the shield. So I go and sell all of this because, yeah, we seem to, to need money. My pistol 
My pistol's pretty broken up. Well, maybe I should have hung on to it, but um, it seems uh, our storage space is very limited at this point. So what we'll do is we're going to sell, sell that, and sell the helmet, sell the shield. Just going to move this stuff over. So unfortunately the vendor's not smart enough to actually reset the st stacks of items. So I have to actually move them enough to put, put an item in here to sell it. Which is a little annoying, and it's it's very clunky. There we go. Well, so yeah, this the the vendor the vendor selling screen definitely needs uh, a lot of work, as you can see. It looks like um yeah. So once you've actually filled up the vendor uh, vendor sale menu, I can't actually sell him anything else now. Because let's just go back to his store screen. Okay, and it does it, it actually sits there. So um, that's that's a pretty nasty bug because I can't actually do anything now. Let's see if we can buy a backpack before we go. Again, this is this is very early alpha, so hopefully um, it's a small backpack. What's that? Capacity 84. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually a lot better than what I've got. He wants 84 for that. I can afford that. So what I'll do is I'm going to drop this on the ground. I'm going to have a chat with this guy and see if I can buy a bigger backpack. It's only a small backpack, but it's better than nothing. There we go. And then I can loot everything out of this backpack. And then I can sell in my old backpack. Or not. I don't like that you can't just double click to sell. Oh, there we go. It's just very clunky. Let's see if... Um, yeah, so the item's still there. I can't actually sell him anything more now because his screen's full. Uh, hopefully if the if the developer's watching, a uh, pretty big bug there, mate. You know, vendors, you should be able to reset their stock when going into any store. Because now I can't actually sell anything to him. I'm hoping that leaving the map will let me do that. Oh, here we go. Replacement pistol. That'll work. Chuck my backup shotgun. Uh, normal suit. That's going to work. What's durability? So right, that's going to have a do for now. So luckily we found some extra weapons. I seem to not really have much ammo for anything except the pistol. I'm going to try and have a look around. It looks like going by these arrows we can go into some of these buildings, hopefully. Maybe not. That looks like mines. I'm not I'm not I'm not game to jump into that yet. Let's check some of these buildings out and see if I can get inside. Nope. So even though there are some usable signs here, or some signs directing me inside the buildings, unless I'm missing something pretty important, there's no prompt or anything saying that I can get inside. They're probably just uh, placeholders at the moment. And that could just be because the game's still, still in early access. But I don't know where I'm going to find these repair kits in that case. So apparently there's supposed to be a repair kit in this location that we can use to take back to the vendor. I'm going to have to go and brave these monsters. I don't know how tough they are. Oh, okay. We've got radiation in those areas, so we'll go the long way around. So yeah, so far it's it's a, it's fairly clunky, but I've I've definitely seen alphas that are a lot worse. I mean, I've actually been enjoying myself. The the difficulty is pretty punishing. As you can see, my my companion died pretty much on the very first map. Uh, I do get stuck in those rocks. I get uh, there's a, a few clipping issues. Oh, here we go. We've got another 
Oh, and I can't use a medical kit during the fight, so I think I'm... Oh, and I'm down. I'm down. So, unfortunately... Let's, uh, let's try one more time. Let's have a look around. Oh, at least I got my friend back. So we're going to have one more go at this, and then I'm going to try and go to another map and just see what we can, what we can find. A at least I know everyone beyond this barrier is hostile, so shoot on sight. And I'll, uh, I'll use the med kits. Uh, I'll see if I can bind them to a hotkey. So that was a headshot, and that actually didn't do much at all. Wow. Dead straight away. So we're going to try another location. This, this game does feel very, very difficult at the moment. And I had the drop on him and got him right in the side of the head. So... Maybe, maybe this is a location that's not good for low-level characters. So, for that, uh, for that purpose, we're going to try and go to uh, sewer system. Okay, let's try the sewer system. So, oh, we found a chest. Okay, first aid kits, beautiful. We'll keep going. So we'll probably get attacked on the way by one of these different factions. It looks like there's a few factions moving towards me at the moment. Okay, so we have to we have to take them out in the fight. Okay, so this looks like a swamp area. The one thing about the maps at the moment are that they're very bare bones. So there's not really a lot, as you can see. It, uh, again, early access game, very early alpha, but there's not a lot going along with ambience. One of the things I loved about the Stalker games was that there was always something going on. There was different uh, animals and wildlife, different factions just wandering around. But again, it seems that my friend here has a gun that is about ten times as powerful as mine, because as far as I can tell, they were all solid hits to the head, and it didn't do much at all to him. So I'm going to take what we can from these guys. Now, I don't, he doesn't seem to be able to upgrade his weapons, which would be... Not that he needs to. He can, seems to be able to one-shot everything. Let's see how he's sued. Let's see if they've got anything. They've all got... Uh, yeah, just knives and... Various... Uh, various different different melee weapons. So it was a pretty one-sided fight, so let's head back to the map. And we'll continue on our, our journey to the sewer system. So, oh, looks like I wasn't fast enough. So these are slavers. They're probably, hopefully, just more guys with melee weapons. Uh, it seems that firearms and in uh, at least for the enemy different the different enemy factions in the game are actually quite dangerous. My gun feels more like a pea shooter. Um, my my friend here seems to have a very powerful gun. He 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 actually killed all of those guys, even though I, I got them with at least four or five headshots. So yeah, there's there seems to be a lot of inconsistency in the different firearms in the game. There you go three shots. Oh wow, okay. Didn't do too bad then. So they had pistols. Uh, I'm going to take the... Let's take the ammo. And... Well, that's actually almost perfect durability. So I'm going to take that as a backup. Oh, hell yeah. I'm taking hand grenades. Okay. What's this guy got? Uh, shotgun. Okay. Yeah, I'll have that. Um... Oh, yeah. 12 gauge ammo. Okay. Yep. So 68 versus 148. So what we'll do is we'll unload that. Take the shotty. And another hand grenade. They're always good to use. Durability. No, I'll stick with my military suit. 
So yeah, they did ping me, but uh, thankfully they weren't there. He was only using a shotgun. That could ended really bad. Um, I'm wondering if he got my friend because I don't see rubbing here. Yeah, it appears he did. I don't know. He just got stuck in a wall. All right, let's head on our way and see if we can get to the sewer plant. Here we go. And here we are in the sewer level. Uh, again, another level in dire, dire need of some normalization of sound. Uh, now that looks like a radioactive barrel, so we're going to go this way. Oh, I saw flashing on the ground. Now that looks like a landmine. Let's take that out. Oh, okay, that was not a good idea. Get to some cover. Now that guy just took almost a full mag to go down. Okay. Brutally murdered there. It seems the enemies can roll you very, very easily in this game. You, you really can't take a lot of damage. The enemies seem to clump up in these groups. There's no, there's no way to stealth them. I'm going to try and go around the other way here and see if I can get a better angle to, to take them out. I'm going to get poisoned by that barrel. There's not a lot I can do. It's better than the case of lead poisoning. That looks like another mine. So let's let's go this way. <coughs> Try and see what's uh, behind door number one. This looks like it could be a trap, but we don't really. The other way is definitely worse off for us. Here we go. Okay, so we can't open that door. Can we smash it? No, it doesn't look like it. Can I shoot the lock off? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it looks like my friend may have attracted some attention. Come on, buddy. You're going to move? Leave. Leave. Move. I shoot him in the foot. Okay. So we're in a bit of trouble here because he, he's actually blocking me from being able to get out. All the other doors are locked. Ah, oh, blast. So, I'm actually trapped in here, and there's really only one way out, and it is rather grisly. I'm sorry, my friend. I'll try one more time. Leave. I'm sorry, but you have to shuffle off this mortal coil. Now, of course, because I'm in the middle of a, a fight, I can't open my inventory. It looks like... Whoa, okay, we've got some some guys here, raiders. Okay, so this guy, he's wearing a helmet, but this is ludicrous. So, nearly an entire magazine to the head. Let's try again. You just start counting bullets here, but I think you get the idea. Even in Fallout, the 9mm pistol, you could actually kill enemies with it if you used a bit of skill. This is this just seems like a war of attrition. Finally. Oh, two shots for the other guy. You cannot interact with interfaces during the fight. So again, these uh, these pop-ups are very intrusive. Okay, so if I move stuff into my hotkey... Ah, oh, there we go, I can use the health kits now. Uh, unfortunately, the health kits seem to restore a very small amount of health. And uh, pretty much useless in that regard. Uh, perfect durability pistol. Mine's actually not too bad, so I might hang on to the one I've got and I'll come back for this later. I'm very interested to see what the other guy was carrying. Can I... Do I have a... I don't have a... Have a... Uh, a torch. I need a flashlight. Okay, the body fell down here. Hello, here we go. Rifle. Okay, so 
I think my shotgun, yeah, I've only got one shot in it, so I'm going to take the rifle. Oh, his helmet's broken. Oh, I wonder why his helmet's broken. Maybe it's because I shot him in the head 500 times. So I use the last of my med kits to restore my health. Well, this time I'm going to try and get some grenades over there. And maybe use the rifle to soften them up a bit. Let's see how we go. Oh, there's a grenade. Oh, okay. Solid hit. Solid hit. Solid hit. Okay, that was a miss, but... This is ridiculous. That was so many shots, and... The firearms in this game, when I'm using them, they seem like pea shooters, and when they use them, they're dangerous, so... It's very, very hard to... to win a fight in this game, even with your arms and teeth. So, full magazine seemed to do the trick, but... Oh, and I'm down. I was trying to see if I could raid his gun, raid him for some ammo. So, final thoughts on this game. Well, it is very early alpha, and there are a lot of bugs, and the difficulty in the game is, uh, is very, very high. But I have seen worse. And I think with a bit of work, this could be okay. I'll try and get out of this water. But yeah, if, um, I think with a little bit of work, this game might actually be alright, but I think, again, that this is going to need a lot of work before I would recommend anyone to play it. Uh, sound normalization, uh, but, uh, fixes for the bugs, fixes for the shopkeepers, fixes for the sound. Um, I, I think I mentioned that already. Um, and the graphical bugs in the game as well. The AI for your companions is also very broken. And just overall, the, the balance of the game just needs to be completely overhauled. It, this, is, this is not a fun game to, to play. It shouldn't... Unless you're going for a post-apocalyptic game in the Dark Souls world, that's the only time I can think this level of difficulty is, uh, is worth it. So, yeah, again, it's, it's early alpha. I, I don't want to go hating on a game that's really only very early in development. But, yeah, a lot more work needs to be done by the developers. The difficulty needs to be looked at, and uh, hopefully with a little bit of time and a little bit of care, this game will come onto Steam and we'll get to have another look. So that was it from me today. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like, leave me a subscribe if you're feeling kind. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this game, and uh, thanks to Screwdriver Entertainment for letting me have a look at their game, and hopefully the information and the, the bits and pieces from this video will help them fix a few of the, the issues I found and make it a better overall game. So I'm looking forward to seeing this on Steam, and I'm looking forward to coming back to it when they've done a lot of work on it. Until next time, Skill Incarnate, out.